parade this morning marked the opening ceremony to commemorate the accomplishments of Henry Miller Morgan. Mr. Morgan was born in 1895 and by 1933 had opened a barber college at 212 East Irwin in Tyler. This particular landmark uh, was given uh, to Mr. Morgan in his honor for his contributions uh, to the city of Tyler and to what he did for the barbering profession. And it is a part of a half mile uh, stone celebration that they gave to contributors for the city of Tyler. This one talks about his contributions for him being the first African American to open up the first African American Bible College, which is right down the street. I went to that college in uh, 1959 and graduated in 1960, and uh, I made a career uh, from uh, barbering and cutting hair. So we're just so uh, thrilled this morning to once come again and give uh, praise to Mr. Morgan for what he did and to know that we have three landmarks right here in this half block here uh, to recognize Mr. Morgan for what he did. The Barber College had five chairs and was the first African-American Barber College in the United States. Mr. Morgan's college grew and he opened locations from Houston all the way to Manhattan. The Tyler location at one time was training the majority of African-American barbers in the country. Uh, I am the seventh president of this organization. Uh, Mr. Henry Morgan was the first president and uh, he was the president from 1953 to 1961. Uh, he passed in 1961. How it got started was uh, in 1907, just give you a little history. 1907, the state of Texas decided they were going to regulate barbering. Before, people would just barber in their backyard, front porch, or in their bathroom, wherever they could. And so Texas decided, we need to regulate barbering. We need some rules and regulation uh, for barbers. Uh, so they couldn't get the wording right in 1907, but 1929, they got the wording right, and they started the Texas the Texas State Board of Barber and Examiners. And they was in existence for 75 years. And now we're under the direction of the TDLR. But this organization started, like Mr. Crawford said, in 1952 when they, Henry Morgan asked barbers from all across the state of Texas to come to Tyler, Texas, so they could start a barber organization that would regulate, help us regulate ourselves too as barbers. And uh, he had 500 barbers who convened to Tyler, Texas, uh, July the 25th, 26th, and 27th, I think it is, of 1952, right here in Tyler, Texas. At St. Mary's. At St. Mary's Baptist Church. Uh, at that time, Charlie William was the pastor. Uh, it was organized, this organization was organized in the church, so we, we always put God first. The acronym TAOTA -T -A is Texas Association of Tonsorial Artists. Tonsorius is Latin for barber, meaning beard. And so we go back even, like I said, we go back even during the Bible days. Uh, well, uh, we got our instructions from Ezekiel 5 and 1 where he said, Thy son of man, take thee a short knife or a barber razor. We know that when Samson told Delilah uh, his secret, she called for a man with a razor and he cut the locks of his hair, and we know the demise of that. The razor has been uh, right. the most important deal for us as long as our clippers and our blades, but what really separates the barbers from any uh, uh, profession is, uh, has been our barber razor. And uh, we just, uh, we're just honored, and we just thank God for that razor. It's recorded in the Bible. So long as that's there, we're gonna be here.